Good morning. Hey, our YouTube family. Hey, today's going to be an exciting day. We're going to be heading out to the zoo. I have a, a story to tell you about something that happened to me earlier this week where I sort of got attacked. And so you make sure that you tune in after this little message. And also, I have some haul stuff to show you that's going on. All right, so you make sure that you tune right back in, all right? <laughs> Well, hello, our YouTube family. Hey, today is Saturday the 16th, and we are going to be heading out to the zoo here in a little bit. But before I go, I just want to let you know on a little issue we had this week, why I haven't been posting that many videos this, this week, was because earlier this week, uh, I was attacked by a cat. Yes, that's right. Well, not a vicious attack. It was just... Uh, our frightened cat because I was like sleeping here on the couch when I sleep but resting and watching watching TV with Zach while Zach was playing and then the cats we had two cats and they were sleeping by my legs and so they were like in a dead sleep and so Zach who was playing he accidentally startled them out of their sleep and they jumped up six feet into the air one landed on my arms with all her claws out and then her back feet got into my mouth so I was like, I tore my tongue, I tore my lip, and I have like a scratch here on my nose. So that's why I haven't been filming, especially, I'm not going to be filming close up that much, because you can still see the scar. So, I started to feel like Montgomery Cliff. If you guys know who Montgomery Cliff is, comment below. <laughs> but yeah, so anyhow, so I'm just waiting for these things to heal. And in fact, for like two days, I really couldn't talk because my tongue was so freaking sore. So it's like, I'm, and the pain has just barely started to go away, so... I'm happy for that. So I'm going to try to catch up on my videos. It's like I'm behind on my haul videos. I have like all this shipment that came in earlier this week, which you can see here. So as you can see here, it's like these boxes to the right, as you notice, are Yankee boxes. And then I also have Bed, Bath and Body Works. And those are from the last week of the semi-annual sale. And then we did some shopping at TJ Maxx when we were in Oregon. And then I still have a bag of Bath & Body Works stuff to do um, from the semi-annual sale. And then I also have some new stuff that I bought um, just yesterday um, from a store, um, from actually two stores. Uh, stuff I picked up that is part of their fall collection. Also leftover stuff from their semi-annual sale that was at 75% off. So yes, people, I have a lot to do. So I need to catch up on those. And yeah, so we're getting ready. We're going to go stop by and get breakfast, maybe at IHOP or someplace. And then we're going to be heading out to the zoo. But again, I'm going to try to distance myself because of my scars. But anyways, talk to you guys later. Bye. So everyone, so I have this candle in the burner right now. It's Yankee Candles. Um vanilla cupcake birthday star candle that I got at my very first haul from Yankee Candle um, at the beginning of their semi-annual sale in June at, from a store and um, I think the store management maybe had cut the wicks too short because every time I lit it, um, it they were going out and so it started to tunnel so I just put it on my little warmer here and oh my god, the scent is marvelous. It's like whenever I burn it or whenever I, I put it in there, it's like it smells like I'm baking cupcakes in here. So we have that going on in that. And then I also have Bahama Breeze in here that I'm burning. So um, of course we're not burning right now because we're headed out. But those are the candles I have burning this week. So as they burn, Zachary and I We'll be letting you know how they smell and how they're doing, right? Mm-hmm. Well, we are here right now for our breakfast, and we're at... Where are we? We're at IHOP. So I have some pancakes, maybe some waffles. I know, unhealthy stuff, but... We need our carbs, our energy for today, right? So, Zachary, what are you going to be eating today? Probably pancakes. <laughs> Powdered sugar. Cinnamon. Powdered sugar? Yeah, probably powdered sugar, cinnamon, chocolate chips, and a bunch of unhealthy stuff. Because today's a special day. Okay. 
But just because it is a special day doesn't mean you get to have those things. You should eat unhealthy on a special day. Oh, no. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. So, are you going to have eggs? Mm hmm. Egg, bacon, sausage. This is one place you should have seen, though, that we ate at whenever we went to Leavensworth. Wait, where? Remember? When your grandma visited? Yeah, but where did we eat at? Remember that place in the morning? That we ate at the... Oh, inside the hotel? Yeah. Well, that oh, yeah. place with that powdered sugar and the waffle and all that and an ice cream on it. Oh, that was here. That was here in Seattle. Yeah, there's this one place here in Seattle where they actually have a waffle. It's, I think it's... Three for days? Yeah, so like I was saying, like, there's this one place here in Seattle where they actually have a breakfast. And it's all like all breakfast items that they serve like all day long. But, um, but they have this one dish that's named after one of our mountains here, and it's actually a waffle with ice cream on top, with powdered sugar, it's pretty fat. Maybe we'll take you there one of these days. Okay, we gotta order now. All right, well, we just got finished eating our breakfast. Oh my God, it was so good. It's like Zachary had eggs, sausage, or eggs, bacon, and pancakes. Sure. Just a little tiny bit of syrup and no chocolate chips. And so, and then I had strawberry banana um, pancakes and... He's a fan of bananas, guys. And so, anywho, well, we're headed off to the zoo right now. And so, that will be our next stop. Are you excited, Zach? Yes. Yes what? I'm really excited. And I hope you get to see all that they have there. They have a lot to offer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we haven't been to the zoo in a little, well, actually in a couple of years. Probably like two or three years was the last time. So anyways, so we're heading up now. video and it's going to be probably a long video so i hope you all like it so make sure you watch it and um but look for it uh, within the next two days all right thanks guys all right well we just finished our little trip at the zoo and we're heading out now um might go through the park because we noticed at the park that's nearby the zoo here there's a lot of pokemon so we have to go there and catch them you know we do we got to be part of this big Bad that's going on so anyways so uh, we're heading out right now and you guys are coming along hey everyone well we just got home uh, we did go for to the park for a little while but unfortunately my battery keeps running out I mean I love my Canon G7X but this battery just doesn't last long um, so I need to invest in another one maybe two or three because um, I'm really getting tired of running out of battery juice so anyways we're here at home and right now and I'm probably going to start dinner right now and um, see what else happens for the rest of the night all right Hey everyone, well I'm just here making dinner for my family. It's like James and Zach are out in the backyard um, watering the garden, watering the tomato plants and checking out see what fruit we have on our fruit trees. And I'm here doing a variety of things. First, I'm making James a cocktail because he so deserves it because he's been absolutely fabulous today. And so, and it is the weekend, so I'm making him a banana daiquiri. So I'm just going to do that real fast and get it out to him with this um, Finest Call Banana Daiquiri Mix and then some Captain Morgan Coconut Rum. I'm just going to blend it up right now. Oh, and there's some left over for Daddy too. I didn't plan it that way though. So let me get a straw. For there we go. Let me take this out to Papa and I'll be right back. So 
So I guess I'll start me some, right? <laughs> I tell you, I definitely got a workout today. It's like I walk for miles and miles and miles in that, that zoo in Seattle. Um, the best zoo I've ever been to is, of course, San Diego Zoo. We actually lived in San Diego for a while. And that's like the best zoo I've ever been to. But the Seattle Zoo here is pretty big itself. Um, it's not as spectacular as the San Diego Zoo. I don't think any zoo in the world can compare to San Diego Zoo. But it is pretty big. And like I said, it took us all day to walk through it. And we didn't even finish all the exhibits. That's how big it is. So, um, so yeah, how long were we there? I would say we'd get there for a good eight hours. Yeah, it's a great work day. So, walked around that whole time. That was pretty good exercise, right? And speaking of cocktails, I'm going to be burning my Yankee Candle Bahama Breeze candle for the first time. I've never burnt this candle before, so what I'm going to be doing is with all my candles from all my hauls that you're seeing me get, I'm going to be burning them for one week. And then at the end of that week, I'm going to be giving like a review on it. I might do it in a family vlog like this here. Or I might do just a separate video of it. I'm not really sure yet. Doing reviews is all new to me. So, um, but yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. It's like at the beginning of the week, I'm going to burn a candle. And then by the end of the week, I'll, we'll know what it smells like. But I'm going to burn it every day. So if I do a vlog during the week or something, we'll just check in on the candle on the Bahama Breeze and check to see how it's going, see how it's burning and what's going on with it and to give you all a better idea of what the candle's like. So if you like that concept, that way of doing it, let me know. It's like I have seen other people do reviews and do like their empties videos and I really have no clue how these people go through so many candles in one month. But um, there's no way we can because we're not even home that much during the day. If we're not at work, we're at doing some sort of field trip for homeschool or running errands or something. So, and we don't like leaving candles unattended. Of course, that's unsafe. So, um, so the only time we can burn them is when we're here at home. So I might not get down to the very bottom of the candle, but at least you know why. But at least you'll get like a whole week's review of what burning that candle was like for at least that one week, right? So I hope that helps you guys. Hey everyone, I just want to touch base with you again about the Yankee candle um, candle that I lit. I lit it around 7 o'clock this evening and now it's approximately midnight. And so I just want to touch base with you to show you what it's at. Um, to show what it looks like. I've been burning it for about 5 hours now and I'm about to put it out because as soon as I finish uploading um, my footage, I'm probably gonna head off to bed and finish my editing tomorrow on Sunday morning. So, um, so yeah, so I'm gonna show you the candle and see where it's at, and then tomorrow we can talk about it, but I just want to get you, a, I want you to have a glimpse of the first burning of this candle and it, with it burning for five hours. All right, so thanks. Thanks for your interest. All right. <laughs> start dinner so anyways I have lit my little candle I have it on my little set here that I got like over a decade ago um, when I used to work for Yankee Candle this thing is so old but it's the only one I have it doesn't match my decor anymore I used to have like this country type decor don't have that anymore my decor is more like Southwest um, Latin Mexican type decor so um so yeah but it still comes in handy it still helps it to burn more evenly and to create that pool of um wax with inside the candle all right so that's lit so i have my bahama breeze candle burning i have my banana daiquiri in my hand mm. 
Okay, and now on to dinner. Now, a couple weeks ago, you all saw that I created a Target haul video where I got a lot of products from Beekman 1802, right? Well, one of those products I got was their pasta sauce, and this is called the Mortgage Lifter. Let me try to get in. There we go, Mortgage Lifter. And so, um, I'm going to be using this today, and I'm using Trader Joe's. Organa, organic. I got I only had a few sips of the banana daiquiri, and I'm already. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna be trying Trader Joe's organic um, penne pasta, and that's I've never had that type of pasta before, and I really don't. Me personally, I don't eat that much pasta just because of the car factor, but I haven't had pasta in a while, and I've been meaning to get these. Um, Reviews of these products done for you guys because I told you I would and so we're gonna be using that and then we'll be topping it off with um, some fresh um, Parmesan cheese All right, so let me get the water in the pot All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this heat up to a boil before I put the pasta in I'm gonna throw in a dash of salt with it um I don't know why I do that. It's just something my mom taught me. Throw in a dash of salt when you put pasta in. I really don't know what it does. Maybe it breaks up the starches or something. But it's just one of those things that your mom teaches you. And you just do it because mom said to do it, right? So I'm still doing it. Alright, so the water is boiling. And so now I'm going to add my pasta and let it boil for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm sure you all probably know how to make pasta, right? So, um, but you know what? I've never made whole wheat organic pasta before, so I'm very intrigued to see what it's gonna taste like once it's done. So I'm just gonna add this to my boiling water, and I apologize if you hear any mowers in the background. It's just my neighbor mowing their lawn at 7:30 at night. So I just emptied my pasta. I'm sorry. I have so many technical difficulties today. First it's my battery, then it's my SD card. So I had to change the SD card. So anyways, I think it cut out when I was emptying the pasta into the bat, into the pot. So, um, so yes. So I just did that. So I'm going to let it boil for about 10 to 15 minutes. So, um, while stirring periodically, right? Oh, I forgot to add my salt. My mama would be so mad at me. Okay, so I went ahead and added my salt to it. Go ahead and stir it. And like I said, I don't know if it caught it on the other card, but if you see any, hear any motors or anything in the background, I apologize for that. That is just my neighbor mowing their lawn at 7.30 at night. What can I say? All right, so. It looks like it needs probably a few more minutes. Now, I want to speak to all the guys out there. I don't know what it is. As you all know, I'm in my 40s. Early 40s, I should say. And I don't know what it is recently, but it's, especially since I started YouTube, but my face, my face is usually dry. Like, I usually have very dry skin, but I don't know what it is. But like for the past two months, my face has been like so oily. I mean, I haven't used any sort of makeups yet. I haven't done anything different with my life. <laughs> Outside of maybe change my diet. And that's probably the one thing I changed. I cut out sodas. You know what? That's probably around the time it's my face started getting oily is when I cut out sodas. Um, that is strange, yeah. But my face, especially my forehead, has been like so oily. And I noticed I'm starting to get like pimples here and there. And so I'm just wondering. Am I going through male menopause? I mean, really? Do men really go through that? Or what in the world is going on with my body? I mean, I have heard that 40 is the new 20. Um, but did it like go down a little? Like say 40 is the new teens? Because I'm starting to feel like a teenager here. And so, um, but yeah, my face has been like so oily lately. And it's like, I don't know what to do with it. It's just like, so I don't know what it is. It's just like, it's just very, very strange. So I was wondering if any other guys, or even women, if you've ever experienced that with your, with your skin as you entered into your 40s, if you're in your 40s or whatever, but like a major change. Because like when I was a teen, teenager, I had oily skin then. And I had really, really, I mean, really extreme acne. 
I had like the worst acne ever. Um, but then like once I turned 19, it seems like I woke up one day and all the acne was gone. My face wasn't oily anymore. I didn't have to use any acne medicines, no more products or anything like that. And I could just live a normal life. But now it seems like it's reversing now. What in the world is going on, people? So if anyone has any advice for me, I would greatly appreciate that on that issue. So anywho, what this looks like, it's almost done. All right, guys. So the pasta is done. I went ahead and drained it. Ah, this I shouldn't have put it into a steel bowl. But right here, I have the pasta all drained and everything. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the same pot that I used for the pasta. And I'm going to... Oh, my goodness. Oh, this smells so good. Oh, my goodness. You can tell that the tomatoes in here are really, really extremely fresh. Um, oh my goodness. Oh, smells so good. But I'm gonna go ahead and warm up the pasta sauce in the same pot. Um, let's see, what's in here? I don't have my glasses on people, so I apologize, but, um, so tomatoes, crushed tomatoes, water, canola, extra virgin olive oil, um, fresh basil, fresh red crushed peppers, chipotle powder, citric acid, and fresh onion and spices, and fresh garlic. There's a lot of freshes in there, honey. But, um, oh, it smells so good. I have to give it a taste. Oh, oh my goodness. It has, you first get the taste of the tomatoes. Then you taste the garlic. You definitely taste the garlic. It is so good. And then you get this zing, <laughs> this spiciness. I don't want to say what well, is like a hot spice, like, you know, like jalapeno spice. You get that, like third, but it's like multi-levels as it reaches your tongue and goes down your throat. You first taste the tomato, the sweetness, then you taste the savoriness of the garlic, and then the spiciness of the red pepper in here. So good. And so I'm going to warm this up, and then I'm gonna add the pasta right back to it. So I'll be right back once I do that. All right guys, so I went ahead and put the pasta in here and mixed it in with the pasta sauce after it was all heated. And um, everything's combined and mixed. So now I'm just gonna plate it up and put some cheese on it and give it a taste test. All right, so I don't know if you can see this, but here, let me just put the camera down this way for a second. All right, so you see that? Doesn't it look yummy? And now I'm gonna add some cheese to it. Oh, you know what go would go good with this if I had it and I don't have any and I just love it? It's fresh cilantro. Put fresh cilantro on stuff, people. It makes everything better. Trust me on this. Don't pass up. Next time you're at the grocery store, just pick up some fresh cilantro. Take it home, whatever you make, Put it inside of it. If you're eating a salad, put it inside the salad. If you're making a drink, put it inside the drink. If you're making pasta, put it inside the pasta. Or garnish it with the pasta. Um, the best way I like cilantro is fresh. Oh, so good. So anyways, here it is. All right, people. So I'm going to go ahead and give this, this, where is that? Where is that jar? I am going to give this Beekman 1802 by the Beekman Boys a try. Again, this is Mortgage Lifter pasta sauce that you can find at Target. So, let's see. Oh my goodness. Okay. As far as this pasta sauce, I love it. But I can tell you this. Mm. If you don't like spicy foods, 
if spiciness is not your thing, then you're probably not going to like this. Because it does have a freaking kick and it's fabulous. I swear people, first you taste the freshness of the tomato. They are just so fresh. It's just like, if you've had a garden and you've picked fresh tomatoes from your garden, that's what it tastes like. You taste the freshness of the tomato, but then, bam, it hits you that spiciness and that garlicness. It is so fabulous. Oh my God. This is so good. So again, if, if you like spicy foods, then try this. This is so good. Mmm. But again, this is the mortgage lifter one. And they do have other pasta sauces out there. Um, so make sure if you want to get this one, that you try the mortgage lifter. Most definitely give it a try. All right, I just realized something. <laughs> I'm gonna have to stop this vlog here. I'm sure it's probably way over my limit of I try to not make these things longer than 15 minutes But this video is probably gonna be longer than 15 minutes, but I just realized something Zachary's not gonna eat this cuz it's just a bit too spicy mm. So mm. Mm. So go out buy this let me know how your weekend's going all right, so since I have to go make Zachary something now, <laughs> bad daddy, but um, <laughs> I can thank the Bigman boys. But um, but yeah, so I'm gonna have to go make Zachary something now to eat something real fast. And um, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this vlog short for today. So if you haven't subscribed already, so make sure to press the little red button in one of these corners somewhere or down below in the description. And please remember um, to like and share and put us in playlists or whatever, but get the word out about us. As Zachary says, he wants the world to know about us. So, so anyway, so just, um, until next time, just remember that we love you and we appreciate you for watching our video today. All right. Bye.